Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's conversation is, should I confess my love to a girl who's already in a relationship? Well, this one has a lot of variables and not every answer will be the same depending on what's going on with this girl. Is she coming out of this relationship? Is she expressing herself to you about all the problems that she's having and you're the person who's listening to her on the side all the time and helping her through it and just waiting for her to end her relationship? If that is the case, I would strongly suggest that you don't end up in a relationship with her the minute that she ends the partnership she's in right now. Because you will definitely be the stepping stone for her. You're that soft place to fall when she immediately gets out of a relationship. A lot of people will have a relationship ready to go before the one that they're in now is over. And this is not a healthy place to put yourself if you're continually doing this. Occasionally you can meet somebody, you know, at the very end of your relationship and you have this bond, you click together and you end up in a relationship. That can work, but you still haven't had any time to have any emotional downtime. To sit down and rehash in your own mind about what went on in that relationship. Why did it end? Why did it fizzle out? So if you're in love with somebody, girl, guy, whatever, who's already in a partnership, I would say stay away from having anything to do with them romantically until they've been out of uh, their situation for at least six months. I know that sounds like a long time if you've been in love with this person secretly for, for ages just waiting for them to end this partnership that they're not happy in. But you don't want to be that person, that stepping stone, that pickup object that's sitting there waiting for them. That's not fair on you. Is that really a smart thing to do? Because they're not taking any time between relationships. You have to have time to think about what went on and what transpired in that other partnership. Because you're just gonna take all the baggage and all this stuff that didn't work into the next one if you don't figure out what went wrong and what you can do to fix it. You also have to be able to own that. So if you're thinking of going with this girl, who's coming out of a relationship. You make sure that she has looked at everything, she's taken her part in this and really looked objectively at herself as well. If she's in a relationship and she's just okay and she complains a little bit about it to you, so you're sitting there hoping she'll end it, open your heart to other people. Because sitting and waiting for somebody who's already taken and she, if she knows that you like her, or in love with her, then she she could be playing it a bit too and having your cake and eating it too. And at the end of the day, do you want to be with this girl who's okay being that person? Putting you on the on hold and and her boyfriend sort of on the side as well? Because you'll never trust her. And that's the one thing when you're asking this question, anybody asking this question about being in love with somebody who's already taken in another relationship you're really setting yourself up for a lot of disappointment because they're not ready to be with you. Even if they are coming out of their relationship, they're not quite ready. And if they're in a relationship and you're just falling in love with them and you have this great bond and friendship with them and you're trying to win them over, it's not a good thing to do because you're never gonna really feel like that person was there to be with you it was, it's more like you kind of brought them to you and, and made it happen. If you're friends with this person, the, her, her partner, that's just going to cause so many twists and turns and it's just going to be a mess from day one. It's going to be so much baggage on the table before you even get to open the, the, the gift that's in front of you because you've got all this stuff you have to deal with. So when you're thinking about being in a relationship with somebody, don't take the hard way all the time. Find somebody who's available and you have a connection that you don't have to literally fight to get to have in your life. I know sometimes that little forbidden fruit is kind of alluring, but it's really not healthy for the most part. So I would say to anybody who is asking this question, you need to remove yourself from allowing it to happen. It's really not the best place to put yourself. 
It really isn't. It's not an easy solution. You're always going to have some conflict and it's, it's just not going to be a fun time for a while. You want to fall in love with somebody where the doors are open for both of you and it's easy access for and it just works and flows. That's the kind of situation you want. I know every so often we do get these things happening to us and we don't plan it. The odd time it might work out for you, but I would suggest not telling the person you're in love with them if they're in another relationship. If it's going to unfold and be a situation down the road between the two of you, let it happen. Let that relationship take its course and then you maybe can come in later on when she's had some time to be emotionally secure within herself again. So thanks so much for tuning in today to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and please leave your comments. I'm really appreciating all the people leaving comments lately, even some of those bratty ones, Alex. Um, so please leave anything you have to say here, and if you have any show topics you want me to do, send them my way. I'm always looking for things to talk about. Thanks everyone, bye-bye.